Hey everyone, welcome back to the Crypto ZX channel. You guys know what time it is. We're going to be talking about everything SUI. SUI is taking the crypto community by storm. And, um, you know, if you watch my videos over the course of the last, you know, one month, two months ago, um, you know, at that time, you know, SUI was really low compared to where it's at now and you can really see what the grayscale trust has done to sui and speaking about layer one narrative and on top of that a market heating up once again you're after the rate cut a lot of interest coming in on bitcoin along with altcoins um quarter four approaching a lot of excitement and sui is one of the projects that is definitely taking massive advantage of that but let's take a closer look at sui and see what is happening and of course what is yet to come if you want to see more of these updates smash that like button but now let's Get right into it so on the daily time frame alone it's up 12.1 percent yes you've heard that correct um, and on the weekly time frame it's up a staggering 50 yes guys five zero percent over the course of the last one week alone with the price currency got a dollar 73 cents up 12.1% as mentioned in USD, also up at 12% in Bitcoin compared to over the past 24 hours. Market cap is currently approaching 4.7 billion and the 24 hour trading volume at about $1.3 billion. And again, a lot of people talk about, you know, the tokenomics, you know, the total supply is um, you know, 10 billion right now, the circulation is about 2.7 billion. But in terms of, uh, you know, massive unlocks, we actually did see massive unlocks happening at, um, you know, I think beginning of the year, I think quarter one if i am not mistaken um so you know that's obviously something that a lot of people need to realize but i think with the momentum sui has for itself with this specific bull cycle i think it can make up even you know future unlocks but obviously you know when the market turns uh, bearish once again which obviously will happen at one point um you know this could really be um you know a huge factor to a lot of investors i keep in mind which is tokenomics so obviously this is where your due diligence comes into play um obviously tokenomics don't look too good compared to some of the other coins because of course you know this means future unlocks happen which could uh, in return do indicate that you know there could be potential um, you know sui on the markets that could be uh, you know for sale but what you need to understand is that's where your due diligence and research comes into play every investor has their own uh, way of taking risk and how much exposure of risk they want to take but uh, obviously that's up to you guys but before we get into it as always just a quick disclaimer anything on this channel is not financial advice always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in crypto so looking at the bitcoin dominance you know it's pulling down and again we had hit a new yearly high which was at 58.59 percent and on this channel i continuously told you guys that you know we are pretty much on the verge of breaking to a new yearly high and this finally happened uh bitcoin on the other hand is having a little bit of a battle uh between the bulls and the bears to keep the price back above sixty four thousand dollars and you guys know sixty four thousand dollars is the level where i turned bullish and i've been saying that literally from here from here you can go watch any of my videos obviously everything is uh up there as far as bitcoin price is concerned i've said as long as the price of Bitcoin is above $64,000, I'm bullish on the broader market. If it's not, if it's below that, I am not bullish. But we're very close on it. So, you know, in the grand scheme of things, I've been bullish because, of course, we have seen a massive uh, amounts of retest back above $64,000. But obviously, it's having a little bit of a rejection. But I am bullish right now. Speaking about SUI, it has taken you know, the crypto market by storm. So pretty much shortly after the announcement that came out from uh, Grayscale that, you know, they're bringing in a, a SUI trust, which again is a huge thing. Having a trust itself shows that, you know, a potential ETF could happen. Obviously, uh, I'm not putting that, you know, there's an ETF in the works, but, you know, that is a huge step towards a potential ETF. Uh, and of course, you know, it gives investors that don't want to um, have self-custody in terms of, you know, worrying about their own private keys, which of course is very important, or, you know, worrying about their wallets being hacked or, you know, accounts, you know, blah, blah, blah. You know, this is where, you know, um, trust comes into play and it's just so easy for regular investors to buy even institutional investors you can see this for yourself you know from august 5th itself it was a 50 cents sui is one of the best uh performers in terms of recovery um you know look at this for yourself since then it has gone up 254 percent and look at the price action so um after we retested i think this is shortly and you know the announcement that you know the grayscale has done was so remember there was a bloodbath across the board guess what grayscale was doing grayscale was picking up the bloodbath um so you know when there's so much uncertainty remember there's the famous saying be greedy while others are fearful be fearful while others are greedy 
um, and your grayscale was picking up sweet like never before in my opinion and you know literally you could go back the announcement came out around here literally around its yearly lows and look what happened to the price and the price is starting to battle it out to get towards a new all-time high and you know it's been absolutely sending now you can see we actually had several rejections above this key resistance in august uh, but of course september 9th was uh, you know the best time because you know after this we actually broke out we saw a little bit of a choppy level around here because of course resistance but since you know breaking this resistance itself you know sui is up a hundred percent and as you can see the price did make its way up to 180 just a few hours ago but you know it's having a little bit of a hard time um you know obviously breaking out because of course there is major amounts of resistance but as the price is seeing a little bit of a retracement you can see you know this previous um you know resistance is coming into support literally you can't make this up and if you want to put this into perspective in order for sui to hit an all-time high it's just a 27 percent move in order for it to do that and of course send price discovery mode and looking at bitcoin bitcoin is not even close to its all-time high you know, Bitcoin is not even close to its all-time high. And at the record, SUI is going up right now. Let's just look at Bitcoin in terms of how long it is from its all-time high. So it's like a 16% move. And as of now, SUI has been pretty much outpacing BTC. So let's say, you know, um, SUI goes up 25% if Bitcoin hits an all-time high. So a 25% move uh, would put it literally you can't make this up it puts it at its all-time high key resistance this is absolutely insane and you know this move like speaks for itself shows you um, why it's so important if you have done your due diligence research this market will go up sharply it will drop sharply as well this is why i've been continuously saying lock those profits in and yes i'll start seeing that right now as well to people that actually did buy sui around here a 254 percent increase is quite large so lock those profits in if you're look, seeing those profits if you're looking at your portfolios you know it's in massive amounts of green uh, and you saw what happened in earlier this year well guess what do not make that mistake again lock some profits in it's never too late to do that but great stuff uh, nonetheless i am absolutely amazed as to what we're seeing with sui right now let me know if you caught it in the comments down below and if so which sui protocols and speaking about protocols you guys know ctis is one of the ones i did speak about which i had some exposure i had to you know uh sell it early um, on so I'm just gonna put it the disclaimer out there I don't own any CTIS anymore but um, you know that is another uh, side that I'm keeping a very very close eye on which of course is the SUI um, you know DeFi sector but let me know down below what you guys think love each and every one of you guys if you want to see more of these updates smash that like button and we'll see you tomorrow up in crypto ZX and peace out